Hello. It is Tuesday, March 15th, 2016. It's election day. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm doing a very ad lib video. I'm not planned what I was going to say. But I wanted to document the great revival that's going on in Walnut Cove, North Carolina right now. This is something that I've waited on a long time. And I feel that every day I want to give you just a little story about the Walnut Cove Revival. Not only what's going on here during the revival, but how it started, <clears throat> excuse me, giving you background. I will tell you that there have been intercessors praying for a great outpouring, oh hallelujah, of the Holy Ghost in our little town of Walnut Cove, North Carolina, the 2010 census, so we had a population of a little over 1,400 people, 1,400 something, little town, southern United States, and we've been interceding a long time. God, God, give us a great outpouring. His Spirit came on the day of Pentecost in the book of Acts long ago, but we wanted a special visitation in this town to help turn around this town that was troubled. About four to five years ago, I began to feel that there was going to come a day that we didn't say any longer. We're begging for revival. God send revival. Lord send revival. That we were going to approach a time where we stopped that and simply declared revival. We are in the midst of the great, whatever he wants us to call it. He hasn't told us yet. The revival, the refreshing, the whatever, the renewal. We don't know what he's going to call it. But... I didn't feel it was time yet to declare that. You see, when we believe for healing, we don't keep begging God, heal us, Lord, heal us, Lord, heal us, Lord. We believe healing was accomplished at Calvary in the atonement. By his stripes, we are healed. We believe that we, we pray for healing. We believe that we have received when we pray, whether we see manifestation or not, and we stand on that, and we continue to praise Him and speak the Word and declare that healing. And we say, by His stripes we are healed. Another scripture says, by His stripes we were already healed. That doesn't mean you're lying if you still have, you know, symptoms of the sickness. It means you have taken your stand and saying, I've received it. Now it's going to manifest. God began to deal with me a few years back that that's what we needed to do with revival too. If we believe it's his will to bring this great revival outpouring refreshing to our town, then there'd come a day we simply declare, here it is. It has, oh, hallelujah, it has begun. Quit waiting on it, begging for it, projecting it out into the future somewhere till we see some great manifestation. We we walk by faith, not by sight. We don't have to see all of that to say we're in it. We believe now. This goes back a long way. I'll tell you some of the stories of that, maybe starting tomorrow. But I wanted to introduce you to what's going on in this teeny little town that you're going to hear about, Walnut Cove, North Carolina. I've been telling my five children and some of our congregational members for the past maybe two months off and on, we're going to have to start declaring revival. Quit waiting for it in the future. What I had felt was going to happen four to five years ago, I felt just getting closer. We were almost there. The more I said that, the more my children, who are just on fire for God, received that. This past Friday night, which was the 11th of March, 2016, my two eldest daughters, Megan and Chelsea, came down here and opened up our little church house called The Well. And advertised on Facebook. We're down at the well for anybody that wants to come and hang out to praise God and sing or pray, whatever. Because I had been saying, kids, when it's time for us to declare that revival's here, then what we will do is we'll open this place every night for people to come. Or at various points of the day for people to come when they need healing, deliverance, whatever. When, the, when that time comes, we're just going to open it up. It may be a sacrifice, but it'll be worth it. Well, they started it on their own, and I praise God for that. So they were here Friday night. Nobody came, but the two of them sang, and God moved, and God gave them a new song. Chelsea just began to hear the words to a song that Megan had, had made up on the piano. She began to hear words from God. 
She sang them to us Sunday morning, so they had a miracle Friday night. Saturday, I was here, just me. But it was a glorious anointing in this place on Saturday. So I carried on the revival on Saturday. Sunday morning, we were here for service, and it was one of the best services we've ever had. But I was still thinking, man, I wish somebody could be here tonight. But I knew people were busy on Sunday nights. We don't have a service. Do you know what? My teenage daughter, Abigail, and another teenager here, Rachel, felt in their hearts to come down here and open the well and just sing and praise God. They, too, wrote a song while they were here. So those teenage girls carried on this revival on Sunday night. I praise him for that. And last night, Shannon, that's Rachel's mom, my oldest daughter Megan and I were here. We were here till like 1 a.m. because God just kept revealing things. And we were so excited. We don't feel that we have to intercede and toil and travail for a revival anymore. We did that for years. We feel all we have to do now is push through the flesh. That's still a sacrifice. Push through our fleshly realm to simply say, We're available, God. Here am I. Send me. I'm here, Lord. What? He gave great revelations last night that will help set people free. And tonight... I was here carrying on the revival by myself when a lady came from a neighboring town. It's actually about 20 minutes away in our county. She came from King. She came because she needed healing. And I taught her. We did a crash course Bible study where I taught her, receive your healing tonight and you stand on it. Quit saying, you know, I, I know I'll, I'll get healed one day. I know I will. You know, we've got to quit saying, well, I have this and I have this affliction. We've got to quit saying what we have. God, God didn't tell us to say what we have. He said we could have what we say. So I have healing in my body is what I'm going to say. This woman who was here tonight soaked it up like a sponge. She's a quick learner and a faith-filled woman. So we prayed. We, I laid hands on her and called out everything that we had written down that the doctors had told her was wrong with her. We're not denying that she's been up against some battles in her body. We're not trying to say she does. Oh, nothing's wrong with her. No, she's had some bad diagnoses. We're simply saying those things don't have the right to remain in her body. She received healing for those tonight, and she is standing on that. I told her, I said, you will be the first documented miracle of this great outpouring in Walnut Cove. What a glorious time we had. And that was tonight. So tomorrow night, we have a Bible study planned. I'm so excited. I don't, I, who knows? We have a Bible study planned, but he can do whatever he wants. We're in revival. A revival service like you've never been in before, because there's no... You know, three congregational hymns and a special singer and a guest speaker we brought in from out of town. No, it's whatever he wants. We might preach, we might teach, sing, pray, lay hands on the sick. We might cast out devils. We don't know what. We might. He might tell us to go walking down the street, knocking on doors. We don't know. But we've made ourselves available. And I ask you to pray for the great outpouring in Walnut Cove and come be part of us if you can. We've already been seeing miracles even before what I've told you about the past few days. We have seen some incredible things here. And I give God all the glory. It's His will for this to break out. Streams. Whoo, hallelujah. Streams in the desert. Rain in a dry and barren land. Join us for this great revival. I love you.